I like to use this one here, dynamic lifter. That's where the fertilizer are that. Right. So this is my garden I have to work on. I've got a big problem here with morning glory. I'm trying to get rid of most of it. But a lot of it comes from the neighbor's house. It's got a underground <coughs> little vine that grows underneath the ground. As you can see here, see this. You gotta get it all out. So I've got a bit of that, so I'm going to pull this up. Got a few puha mother plants, I'm going to pull that up. And I've got a few puha here. I'm going to pull all this out. This starts well over winter. Silver beet spinach. And this area over here I normally use for pumpkin or kamakamo. So I normally put all my Come on, plants in here or pumpkin, let them spread out. So, I've got to pull all this weed up. I have sprayed some. I know spraying's not, it's not good, but spraying gets the job done. Lastly, so I'll keep going. I've got some chives here. Um, this is all mint. Now mint grows like weed. So I have got a bit of work to do, getting this garden ready. Uh, so I'm gonna do first is I'm going to, I did buy some plants today. What's that dust on there? I'm gonna put some beans, beans in. Put some plants, normally I'll grow these by seed, but these ones you can't buy by seed. These are the, I don't know, Scarlet Runner you can. I actually bought a bag of those today. A bag of seeds, but hey, I'm gonna buy them in the plants, this form. I normally grow my own. So those are good growers. I've got one of those, and I've got two of my favorite. These are Mangaria Pole. Just gonna focus on there. Mangaria pole, see? That's what these ones are. See it? I've got 12 of those, I'm going to put those in. And I'm also going to put some tomato plants in. These are just some of them, these are just those little ones. They're nice. So I've got to uh, dig all this garden over, add a fertilizer, and stuff. My compost bin's over there, I can use some compost. And uh, uh shows, yeah, it's all that morning glory seat. Oh, and women dog, dog poo for my women rubber. So, yeah, that's my job. So, over in here, I'm going to be planting some seeds. Uh, what well, I like growing here, I like growing these. Lebanese cucumbers, I love growing those. Easy to grow. I normally have really good success with that here. I put about six, seven plants down, so we have cucumbers pretty much all summer. I love these, these are my favorite. So I got some Lebanese cucumbers. Last year they had a bad year. I've grown them, they didn't grow very well. And need on some peas. I'm gonna put some peas in. And spring onions, so spring onions get ready for summer, summer um, salads, cucumber and tomatoes. In the big area, I'm going to grow some pumpkin, I think, this year. I'm going to grow a kamakamo over here, behind here, there's a kamakamo. All planted to go by the lemon tree. So, that is my job to do next couple of days. Cucumber. 
these things here, you probably paying shit in the shop there, like two dollars each over summer, these Ebenezer ones. Oops. They are expensive to buy in the shop. The Ebenezer and people still buy them. So that's input here. I can't get enough Lebanese cucumbers. Here you go, 12, just like that. So I normally do the first planting and then I'll put some more seeds in and then I'll grow some more once these ones die out, then the next ones will come on. And you have keep on having cucumbers and you might have enough there to make up some bread and butter pickles with cucumbers very very nice so yeah 12 those done from probably oh, three years ago so I had a page that is your come come all seed seed look very similar to the pumpkin seed Pumpkins are probably a bit bigger, a bit fatter, see? Pumpkin on the right and kamakamo there. From the same family anyway. They've got very similar leaves. So I'm going to put... I'm going to... Man, have I got enough room to put two kamakamos in? I've got enough of this, I'm going to stuff quite a mix. Right, so I just got us a bit of a water and I'm going to put them over here on this my filleting bucket a lovely bit of coriander growing there right There's your peas. I'll probably do another trail of peas actually. You can never have enough peas. I've got another problem too with another weed I have in here. It's called Oxalis. It's when you get a, um, a cluster of bulbs and you try and dig it up, the whole cluster of bulbs, and you probably pick up a few but you lose more than you pick up. There's a little one there, look, Oxalis seed. And I've got problems here with Oxalis, it's quite bad. And um, I just sort of try and control it in this growing season. I'll do it before and after. Uh, heaps of work. Right, so that's what we're up to. A couple of hours out here and put out a few weeds. <coughs> a few snails around. So I exposed the parsley's there. You can see our some chives. There's a couple of silver beet and spinach plant haven't flowered yet. Yeah, I just contained. I just contained all that mint into one area. Because man, that stuff grows like a weed. So I might even pull a bit more out. I'm not quite sure yet, but probably this clump here might pull out as well tomorrow. And I started over there. Oh, I also put in some dynamic lifter in there too. I should dig it in but I haven't. So when it gets wet it expands and breaks down. Good stuff that. Alright. See you guys 
next stage.